Hello and welcome to Bags of Action. My name is Pete and this is a five minute review of Blackwater from 2018. A deep cover operative awakens to find himself imprisoned in a CIA black site on a submarine. So that deep cover operative is played by one of my favourite action heroes, Jean-Claude Van Damme. He's appeared in around 70 movies now, and up until the end of the 90s, I was a huge, huge fan, and I'd watch pretty much everything he was in, yes, even Street Fighter. Over the years, I've kind of drifted away from his films. I'd occasionally maybe watch one if it popped up on TV or on Netflix. Um, So what was it that prompted me to dive back in to a Van Damme movie with Blackwater? Well, it's the cast. This film reunites Jean-Claude Van Damme with Dolph Lundgren. And they, of course, appeared together for the first time in one of my absolute favourite action movies, and I think very underrated, Universal Soldier. In a way, it's a little bit of a marketing trick because Dolph's part is little more than an extended cameo. However, this film does pitch uh, Van Damme up against another actor he has appeared with before. Patrick Kirkpatrick, who people may remember as the Sandman in Death Warrant. Van Damme's son, Chris Van Damme, is also in the cast, so it's a real family affair with people that he knows working with him. So that pairing of Jean-Claude and Dolph is what made me turn to Netflix and give this film a try. It's directed by Pasha Patriki in his uh, directorial debut, and he's more well-known as a cinematographer. So what's the film like? Imagine a low-budget, under-siege-style movie, but, as the premise says, set on a submarine. Van Damme plays Wheeler, a CIA agent who is sent to this secret prison because they think he's gone rogue, and yes, they think he's hiding either a hard drive or a dongle. This could be one of the last films where physical media is actually that important. And who's in the cell next door? Um, none other than Dolph Lundgren. So in some ways, I get the feeling that they were trying to make the Van Damme and Lundgren version of Escape Plan with Arnie and Sly. But this film doesn't quite live up to that one. For a low-budget movie of its type, overall, it really isn't that bad. They've cast really competently, and they've got really quality actors around the action stars. The script isn't as cheesy as you might imagine. And Van Damme proves himself really handy with guns and close-up fighting. But don't expect the high kicks and mid-air splits of his heyday. You know, he's 58 now and Dolph is 61. So you wouldn't know it to look at them. So they're doing pretty well for their respective ages. Back to the movie itself. And it starts well, picks up some momentum in the middle. But it kind of fizzles out near the end, which is a shame. Um, Despite being marketed as kind of a two-header between these two action stars... Really, this is more of an ensemble piece than you might expect, and there are plenty of twists and turns as Wheeler is interrogated, and you start to wonder who is on which side. To be honest, I like this movie. It was a bit like Comfort Food, or Queen's more commercial albums. I can imagine snuggling up to watch it on a cold, rainy day when I'm feeling unwell. It certainly isn't going to win any awards, but it really is worth checking out. The action is solid, the story is interesting, and the cast is well put together. Both Van Damme and Lundgren still have the fighting skills, screen present and charisma that makes up for some of the film's other shortcomings, which include the way it handles female roles and that age-old thing of a guy in his late 50s and a woman in her 20s or 30s getting together, which has become a bit of a trope. I've only seen the two leads from this film recently in things like the Expendable series, Creed 2 and the Kickboxer reboots and haven't seen many of their straight to video and streaming low budget movies. It's good to see though that unlike someone like Steven Seagal, they haven't become kind of parodies of themselves and they still have the acting chops and the fighting skills to carry off a movie like this. Um, It's actually made me think that I'll probably check out some more of their recent films, things like Skin Trade that Dolph made and Lucas slash The Bouncer, um, which Jean-Claude Van Damme completed recently. So scoring this one has been difficult because no half bags are allowed, but I'm not quite sure I could give this three bags. So I'm going to say this is a solid two bag movie, but I would say it's worth checking out. If you like Van Damme, if you like Dolph Lundgren, if you like Under Siege and that kind of movie, then it's worth having a watch. Have you seen Blackwater? If you have, get in touch with us via email, Facebook or Twitter. All of the links are down below. And of course, don't forget, you can comment down below too. If you've seen it or you're planning to see it, let us know what you think and see if you agree. 
And don't forget to like and subscribe the channel.